Hi, Billy Quartz here again with another video of the moments in the history of optical astronomy in Southern Africa. Now today we are looking at star lure again and another uh, San or Bushman story. This one's titled The Stars Are Coals and Ash. Now this one tells us about how the stars were formed when Owl threw coals up high into the sky and how he is still punished for doing so even today and also how this caused evil to be spread on earth. A quick word about the term Bushman. After consulting several sources it seems like the jury is still out on the political correctness of the terms Bushman and Sand. The term Bushman still seems to be the most widely accepted word amongst traditional Bushmen and that Sand is actually an insulting term to some groups. Whenever we talk about oral cultures, this quote always comes to mind. In oral cultures, words evaporate as they are spoken. The same story can therefore never be told twice in exactly the same way. Just a quick background about the author who preserved these wonderful stories for us to enjoy today. Gideon Retief van Willig was born in Paul in 1859. As a young child, he often traveled with his father, a traveling merchant, to Bushman land. And then at night he was sitting around a fire listening to these fascinating stories being told by the Bushmen. He later became a land surveyor and he opened an office in Calvinia where he started collecting stories in seriousness, eventually publishing up to 60 stories in four volumes of Bushman stories. About 10% of these are celestial in origin, which are the ones that we've been sharing here. Most of the celestial stories are in volume 1, titled Mythology and Legends published in 1919, just about a hundred years ago now. To illustrate these, I asked Carol Bota if she could produce these scenes as Bushman paintings. Before doing this, she made a few interesting discoveries while researching the background about Bushman drawings. They often represented water as little squiggly lines or little bubbles. Imaginary lines were drawn with little dots around them, similar to what we would do a dotted line. Now the mantis features in most of their stories, often the head figure. The great water snake they believed was a snake who lived under the earth and carried this shiny stone on its forehead. People often wanted to steal the stone but never managed to. Now the great water snake controlled the lakes and even the rain and dew. People in a trance or shaman state are often depicted with buckheads. Martin Kilkenny a graphic designer and son of one of our astronomers, Dave Kilkenny, also illustrated two of these stories for us. The narration was wonderfully done by Henny Chris Maas, son of Henny Maas from RSG Sterren Planete fame. Chris Maas also features on RSG these days with his own radio program. The stars are coals and ash. This is the story of how the stars were formed after Owl threw coals and ash into the sky. How owls are still punished for doing this, even today, and how this caused evil to spread on Earth. As we saw before, Moon arose out of the right shoe of Cachan the Mantis, so Mantis replaced it by making another shoe. But whenever Mantis was walking and stepping on Moon's friends, the shoes, Moon shared their pain. So he caused moon water to fall regularly, causing the shoes to be constantly wet so that Cachan couldn't wear them at all. Mantis then called his other daughter, who later became the owl, and he told her to place the wet shoes next to the fire to dry. The son wasn't overjoyed about this. How dare Cachan put his dirty shoes next to the fire? So he made the fire flame up fiercely, causing the shoes to be scorched. A while later, when Mantis sent for his shoes, they were burnt. He was furious and took out his anger on poor Owl. Owl was annoyed and she took the coals and threw them up in the air and called out, Come on coals, become stars so that we may have light at night while the moon and sun sleep. And to the glowing ash she said, Come on, Ash, become the Milky Way to help the stars give light. Come give light that the people may see at night and don't need to sit at home anymore. Then a big whirlwind arose again and took the coals and ash far above the clouds. The glittering coals then became the twinkling stars 
and the glowing ash became the Milky Way, standing like an illuminated arch over the earth. Then there was enough light to walk about at night. When the sun rose the next day behind the mountains, he saw Owl sitting, and he asked her, Who threw the sky full of coals and ash? Owl answered, Me, because at night it's so dark that nobody could see to walk about. Sun replied, Do you know that you've done a great evil? Now people will walk around at night to do evil. I made the night so dark that people couldn't see their hands before their eyes, and so they had to stay at home and sleep. The day is surely long enough for hunting and walking around, for talking and for having fun. But now you will see that the door has been opened for doing wicked things. I will try hard to get the moon out of the sky so that there is no moonshine. In the day I will brush the stars away in front of me. But what about you, my sister? Henceforth, you will have to fly about at night by starlight. Because, should I see you in the day, I will burn you to ashes, just like I did with the shoes. Everyone who sees you will mock you because of that stupid deed. Now then, get out of my sight and go haunt the night. And you will see that the stars give you pitifully little light, just enough for the evil doers to make mischief. The stars are too distant to give you warmth, Thus you will sit at night and shiver and shake. Owl then flew away to go and hide herself, because when flying about during the day, she was mocked. And now she sits and ponders over what she did, if it was right or wrong. As she sits, she calls out, Hoo, hoo, which in the Bushman language means, lift up, lift it up as if she is still asking herself if she did wrong by throwing up coals and ash into the sky. The sun blinded the owl by day, so from that day on she never saw her brother the sun again. She now takes delight in the stars and Milky Way, or heavenly row, that she has made. Well, I hope you're enjoying these stories, and if you missed any, please go back to my YouTube channel and go and watch them. See you next time. Bye.